Jade Chung is 18 years old and a full-time employee at Tattoo on the Road in Mong Kok, Hong Kong. Midway through her fine arts degree, Jade decided to start tattooing full-time. The reason why I've got tattoos is because, you know, I want to uh, put something like that's from my soul that on my body, so I I can like become a more accurate representation of who I am. Jade is one of several young people at the parlor who were initially taken on as apprentices. Now, two years down the road, she is a paid employee who not only does tattoos but intends to be covered in them herself. You just you know, think about all the positive things about yourself and things you want to achieve and you just you know, make symbols for it. Yeah, I asked my boss to do this sleeve and I said, yeah, I want something that represents ambition and strength and maybe a little bit of luck. Yeah, I got a koi fish and these peonies as well, uh, a symbol of wealth. I'm not allowed to get any more tattoos except from my boss. He's actually planning to tattoo my whole body, so we're going to enter competitions and shit. A decade ago, tattoos were a mark of rebellion, even an identifying characteristic of the triad. However, as body art diversifies and grows, more and more people are laying down money for ink. There's definitely still a stig stigma attached to it. Before, it's like uh, tattoos are for gangsters, but now you see all these different styles, and it's become an art form. To me, a woman, a woman is just a, a beautiful thing, so I just like to draw girls, and now I'm trying out a neo-traditional style. Although she's only two years into her working life, Jade has already begun to consider her plans for the future. I'm planning on maybe going to London or Toronto. You know, because I've got like two career paths here. For now, Jade plans to remain in Hong Kong and is one of the many young people who make the city so vibrant and alive. Nantara Pat, JMSC.